What is the specific problem addressed by the proposed method in the paper? The specific problem addressed by the proposed method in the paper is the inefficiency and lack of reusability in existing web automation frameworks that heavily rely on large language models, LLMs, for generating action sequences to extract target information from web pages. The paper introduces AUTOCRAWLER, a two-stage framework designed to address the crawler generation task for vertical information web pages. The goal of AUTOCRAWLER is to automatically generate a series of predefined rules or action sequences to extract target information from web pages. The framework leverages the hierarchical structure of HTML for progressive understanding and introduces a synthesis phase to enhance the reusability of action sequences generated by LLMs. Autocrawler aims to improve efficiency by reducing the dependency on LLMs when dealing with similar tasks, thereby enabling the handling of a large number of web tasks more effectively. The proposed method aims to overcome the limitations of existing web automation frameworks by introducing intermediate rules, enhancing reusability, and reducing the reliance on LLMs, ultimately improving the efficiency of web automation processes. How does the AUTOCRAWLER framework work to generate a crawler for extracting specific information from semi-structured HTML? Please illustrate the steps involved in the process. The AUTOCRAWLER framework works to generate a crawler for extracting specific information from semi-structured HTML through a two-phase approach, progressive generation and synthesis. In the progressive generation phase, the framework utilizes the hierarchical structure of web pages to refine down to the specific node containing the target information. It employs a traversal strategy involving top-down and step-back operations. The top-down operation starts from the root node and progressively narrows down to the node with the target information. If execution fails, the step-back operation reassesses by moving up the DOM tree to choose a more reliable node for accurate XPath targeting. This iterative process corrects errors and prunes irrelevant parts of the HTML content until successful execution is achieved. In the synthesis phase, multiple action sequences are generated for seed web pages and each sequence is executed to extract information. The framework then selects the action sequence that can extract all target information from the web pages as the final action sequence. This phase enhances the reusability of the action sequence by ensuring it can effectively extract information from various web pages, improving efficiency and reducing dependency on LLMs for similar tasks. Overall, AUTOCRAWLER leverages the progressive understanding of HTML structure, heuristic algorithms, and LLMs to generate executable action sequences for web crawling. The framework adapts to the complexities of semi-structured data, enhances reusability, and improves efficiency in handling diverse web environments and tasks. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using LLMs for generating crawlers compared to traditional wrapper methods in web automation? The theoretical and practical benefits of using LLMs for generating crawlers compared to traditional wrapper methods in web automation are significant. The LLMs introduce advanced capabilities such as planning, reasoning, reflection, and tool use, enabling them to construct generative agents that can autonomously navigate, interpret, and interact with web content. This allows for more sophisticated language understanding and decision-making processes, which is crucial for handling open-world web-based tasks effectively. Additionally, LLMs offer a higher level of adaptability and scalability compared to traditional wrapper methods, which are limited to interacting with a predefined set of websites or pages. LLMs can quickly adjust to different websites and task requirements, making them more flexible in handling diverse and changing web environments. Moreover, LLMs reduce the dependency on manually annotated examples for each website, which is a common requirement in traditional wrapper methods. 
This enhances efficiency when dealing with a large volume of repetitive and similar web pages, as LLMs can generate executable action sequences without the need for extensive manual annotations. Overall, the use of LLMs for generating crawlers in web automation offers improved adaptability, scalability, efficiency, and flexibility compared to traditional wrapper methods, making them a more advanced and effective solution for automating web-based tasks. How is the performance of the AUTOCRAWLER framework validated or tested in the experiments described in the paper? The performance of the AUTOCRAWLER framework is validated and tested in the experiments described in the paper through comprehensive experimental settings and evaluation metrics. The experiments are conducted using various LLMs, including closed-source LLMs like GPT-3, 5 Turbo, Gemini Pro, and GPT-4, as well as open-source LLMs like Mistral, 7B Instruct VO, 2, CODELLAMA 34B Instruct, Mixtral 8x7B Instruct VO, 1, and DeepSeek Coder 33B Instruct. Different LLM prompt-based web agents, including ZS underscore COT and Reflection, are used as baselines. The experiments are carried out under zero-shot settings, and the full prompts can be found in the appendix. Three datasets, SWDE, Extend SWDE, and DS1, are utilized for testing the framework. The evaluation metrics include precision, recall, and macro F1, calculated as the mean of the corresponding metrics for each case. Additionally, the performance of AUTOCRAWLER is assessed based on the executability of action sequences, categorized into six situations, such as correct and unexecutable, to measure the success rate and transferability of the generated execution paths. The experimental results are presented in tables and figures, showcasing the effectiveness of the AUTOCRAWLER framework in generating executable action sequences for web automation tasks. What were the main results achieved with the AUTOCRAWLER framework in the web crawler generation task, according to the experimental results presented in the paper? The main results achieved with the AUTOCRAWLER framework in the web crawler generation task according to the experimental results presented in the paper, include the following. 1. Autocrawler demonstrated the effectiveness of generating executable action sequences compared to baselines like caught and reflection when given the golden label of the instruction, showcasing superior performance in generating action sequences accurately aligned with extraction targets. 2. The framework showed a correlation between the capability of LLMs and the fragility of XPath expressions, with stronger LLMs resulting in a lower proportion of bad cases, indicating a positive impact on the reusability of generated XPath based on text features. 3. Autocrawler with stronger LLMs generated fewer lengths of action sequences, with GPT-4 producing an average of 1. 57 steps showcasing the framework's ability to efficiently generate action sequences with more powerful models. 4. The framework addressed challenges such as non-generalizability of web pages and misses in multi-valued extractions, highlighting its adaptability and potential for handling diverse web page structures and information extraction tasks. 5. Autocrawler leveraged the hierarchical structure of web pages through progressive generation and synthesis phases, enhancing the reusability of action sequences and improving the efficiency of web crawler generation tasks. Overall, the experimental results demonstrated that AUTOCRAWLER effectively addressed key challenges in web crawler generation, showcasing improved performance, reusability, and adaptability compared to existing frameworks and baselines. What are the limitations or challenges encountered with using LLMs for generating crawlers, as discussed in the paper? The limitations or challenges encountered with using LLMs for generating crawlers, as discussed in the paper, include 1. Limited understanding of HTML structures, 
LLMs are primarily pre-trained on pure text data and lack exposure to markup languages like HTML, leading to a limited understanding of complex HTML structures and semantics. 2. Complexity of semi-structured data. HTML contains both structured elements, tags and attributes, and unstructured textual content, making it challenging for LLMs to effectively generate crawlers due to the multi-layered nested information. 3. Difficulty in understanding hierarchical structure. LLMs excel in comprehending textual content, but struggle to grasp the hierarchical structure of lengthy HTML documents, posing a challenge in accurately capturing and utilizing this structural information. 4. Dependency on manually annotated examples. LLMs require manual annotations for each website, hindering adaptability and scalability when encountering new or altered website structures. 5. Insufficient reusability. LLM-based approaches exhibit low efficiency in handling a large volume of repetitive and similar web pages, as they are overly dependent on LLMs even for similar tasks, impacting scalability and performance. 6. Fragility of XPath expressions. XPath fragility arises when XPath expressions become ineffective or inaccurately match target elements on new web pages, especially when relying on specific predicates like text, leading to challenges in generating stable action sequences. 7. Lack of generalizability. Variations in target information and web page structures across different web pages result in a lack of generalizability in AUTOCRAWLER, making it challenging to apply the same rules consistently across all web pages within the same website. 8. Difficulty in capturing multi-valued information. AUTOCRAWLER faces challenges in crafting comprehensive action sequences to extract multi-valued information located in various parts of web pages, impacting the completeness of extracted data. 9. Over-reliance on LLMs. Existing web automation frameworks heavily rely on LLMs for various tasks, leading to inefficiencies and a lack of reusability, especially when dealing with similar tasks, affecting overall performance and adaptability. 10. Inefficiencies in handling open-world tasks. While LLMs offer advanced capabilities for web automation, existing frameworks struggle with poor performance on open-world tasks and lack reusability, highlighting the need for more efficient and adaptable approaches in crawler generation tasks.